Hey Dan, where are we at? Cracker Barrel. Ooh. What is Cracker Barrel, Dan? It's Southern Home Style Cooking since 1969. Are you reading that off the menu? No, I know all this information. Do you? You're that yeah, clever. I do. As I've just mentioned the menu, shall we show the people what the menu is like? Cool. All George Lazy Lazy Pumpkin stuff. Oh no, I'm not a pumpkin. <laughs> Homestyle chicken, good prices as well. Chicken BLT. No, I don't want chicken. Dan doesn't want chicken. Um, peach iced tea. This is the chicken section, I believe. They've got fried chicken and they've also got pumpkin latte and a praline pecan, 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 pecan bread pudding. And then on the back is just a picnic box, which looks pretty good actually. And another type of picnic box, but this is the main menu here. This is a lunch and dinner menu. It's really kind of country style. So you got <coughs> daily, di daily dinner features all up here. They do different specials on different days of the weeks. Some more up here, country salads. Kids menu. But when you open it up, there's even more. So if you haven't guessed on this menu, it is proper country, country menu. Really? Yes, Dan. <laughs> but it's really to the dinner menu. Yeah, I've, I've looked at that one as well. Oh my gosh, there's another one as well. This menu all day. As oh, well. all day breakfast. I'm just gonna go widescreen for this. So yeah. So it's a large old menu, isn't it, Dan? Yeah. Do you know what yes. you're going for already? No. Okay. Well, let's have a little look in the menus ourselves and pick out our meals and order them, and then we'll show you what they're like. What's up, Dan? Well, I just wanted to say that I'm hosting today's food because Georgie can't be seen because his hair's in a really bad state. I haven't done my hair, guys. But yeah, look, so Cracker you have these games. I have no idea how to play it. It does have instructions, but yeah. So they provide you with little games to play. Put some hot sauce and some honey. Um, salt and pepper as well. You've yeah. got that salt and pepper. And they've got a lot of pumpkin stuff as well. It's loads full. Pumpkin pudding, pumpkin pie, and loads of different pumpkin drinks. That's really good, isn't it? Uh -huh. What drink have you gone for? Um, so I have gone for something quite different. Yeah. It's not vodka. It's water. Wow. <laughs> the world is um, shaking. <laughs> and you've gone for Coke. Diet Coke? Come um, on, people. We have both gone for today's special, which is Cracker Barrel's very own roasted turkey and dressing. Don't know what dressing is, do we? No, so we get two sides of that as well. So I've gone for mash and green beans, and George has gone for <laughs> fries and coleslaw. Like I was under pressure. <laughs> I was so under pressure. Like I said, Dan, coleslaw wouldn't work, but they would it. And then she came over and I was like, coleslaw. <laughs> Too much pressure. So yeah, um, we'll see what that looks like in a bit. We've got our uh, biscuits coming now as well, haven't we? Oh yeah, the biscuits, we're not really fan. But it was biscuits or cornbread, wasn't it? And we definitely yeah. don't like cornbread. So we thought we'd give it a go. <laughs> so the biscuits have arrived, and I really like them, as you can tell that I've eaten a half of one anyway. Dan's just sitting there, he's popped into the shop to look at the candles as well. So I'm gonna sit and munch on these and wait for dinner to come. So Dan is back from the shop. He hasn't tried his uh, biscuit yet, but he's in shock. Why are you in shock? This smells like a roast dinner, Georgie. Shall I show them? Yeah. Well, this is this is what the normal ready, one looks ready. like. Ready. It looks alright, actually. Yeah. So we've got turkey, some st it's lots stuffing. of stuffing, cranberry sauce, green beans, and mash. And I have. And then you've got George's weird hybrid <laughs> version: turkey, stuffing, fries, cranberry sauce. And coleslaw. I've also been given another Coke and I've already got one. Are oh, you complaining? No, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to be up all night, aren't I? <laughs> Let's try it and get back to you and tell you what it tastes like. For anyone wondering if turkey, cranberry sauce and coleslaw works well together, the answer is yes. It tastes really good. Dan, how are you getting on? Very well. I think we're being burgled, guys. <laughs> Getting He's there. doing good. You've eaten more turkey than you have the rest of it, though. Turkey's so good. It's so nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like a little mini Christmas dinner. 
you know, yeah. Sleeper, and I'm loving it. It's great. Yeah. So finish, how was that for you, Georgie? I really enjoyed that. Like, look at my plate. <laughs> I've eaten everything except for There's that. There's just mess everywhere. There is mess everywhere, <laughs> right that's me. The table. Um, except this little bit of stuffing, I couldn't quite handle the whole lot. How about you? Really good. Yeah, I struggled also with the stuffing. Um, it was really dry, not dry, so grainy and a bit weird. But it started off really nice. The then, outer bits. I think it was just too much. Yeah, there's so much stuff. So, the outer bits with the crust was lovely. Yeah. Sorry, Dan. I don't know if I've already said it, but to have something like this, 11 days into a holiday when you just had chips and breakfast. Oh. So, what do you score it out of five, Georgie? I'd say seven. What do you score it out oh. of five? Oh, <laughs> I'd score it a four. Four? Yeah. I'm the same. Four. Yeah, the only thing that is done is that, but um, yeah, yummy. So, one odd thing here is called different thing. They drop that off their bill as pretty much as soon as you start eating. Dan, um, do you want to show people how much it cost? And then you take it to the cashier in the shop. So it's a tricky way to get you to have it at the shop. But it's only come to $27. So that's a really good price. So, yeah. It's definitely worth we... your money, isn't it? Yeah. Should we go and have a look in the gift shop? Yeah, let's do that. So the reason I love this gift shop is it's a little bit of everything for every single season of every part of the year. So we've got over here, it's the best section. Have you seen these big? Oh my God. They are so I know cool. what you was going to say then, it would have been X-rated as well, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I would have had to blew myself out. Yeah, but, I knew um, exactly what you was going to say. I don't know how much it is, but I, that would be amazing. And but that's quite heavy. That would weigh the luggage That down. would probably be 23 kilograms mm -hmm. from. So these candles here, um, for the woodwick, which we love, $19.99 for the medium glass air jars or $26.99 mm. for the larger jars. That's I'm not sure how much these are. Very similar to what we had last year. Does it smell good? Wood smoke, and it actually does smell like wood smoke. Does smell? Oh, oh that. it's really nice. nice. Is that what the big one is as well? Is that wood smoke? I'm not sure. But as I said to Dan earlier, there's a 40% off section at the bottom. Oh. So these are all 40% off. So you've got Yankee candles, um, some things I've never heard and of. Some trio ones. And you've also got some Woodwick ones here in the 40% off section. I didn't know they were 40% off. Well, they're down there. Ooh. And they've also got, I've never seen these either. Woodwick infusers. I've never seen a Woodwick infuser. Oh, there's loads of stuff hidden away in here. Wow. <gasps> Dan, I want that for the top of our tree. Oh, oh my god, right. wait for it to come around, wait for it to come around. $40. Really? Is it really? Oh, okay, I don't want it anymore for my tree. That is quite cool though. Mm. Oh, that's creepy. It's like the scariest thing ever. <gasps> Elf cup. That would take you about $20. Wow. That's quite cool though. Oh, they've got these glasses to make them. Am I all sparkly? Well, I'm, no. I, I sparkle anyway, Dan, don't no, I? Actually. Oh, that's that sweet. Look at lights now. Oh my god, they're, they're all snowmen. Are they really? Yeah. Dan's. Can I put one on, on the lens of the glass? Of the. This might not work very well. No. No, it's not working. Have a look. Oh, that's I pretty. wouldn't say no to that. I know it's tacky as hell. But I'm going to take a photo of that. I'll it. And I love gingerbread. All of this gingerbread Oh my stuff. god. So cool. I love those. Should we get a couple of those? No. Oh, You're boring, Dan. <laughs> oh, look, look at that baking tray as well. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> um, yeah, they've got kids' toys in here, um, cooking things, got beers, like real ales. Um, this is a little bit of everything in this shop, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So have you enjoyed your experience here at Cracker Barrel today? Yeah, it's been much better. I got scared last time because there was a clown in here. Yeah, Dan um, doesn't like clowns. Yes, a lot better. Not a real clown when we had, it was like a stuffed clown. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. for only $260. <laughs>